Hi there, Jamie Keith here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I want to give you 10 tips to get more out of Excel. So these are beginner tips that maybe you're just working with Excel or maybe you have been working for a while. But these are 10 tips that just will make things a little bit more efficient for you and save you some time. Uh, if you're looking more for the tutorial type of uh, videos, check out the other ones I have listed for Microsoft Office. Remember I put out weekly tech tips so if you're interested in getting notified when they come out, hit that little bell notification beside the subscribe button and then you're gonna get notified when my new videos come out let's get started on these 10 fantastic tips here today for Excel Before we get started here today, I'd love to hear from you if you have any great tips that you could recommend for beginners. Just write it down in the description below and maybe I can take those uh, examples that you give me and put them in a different video. So let's get started with tip one and tip one is quick analysis it's called. So I already have a table here that I have of the top 10 grossing movies of all time and I just want to do some quick analysis on it. If I click anywhere inside the table here, I'm just going to click up here in the first one and then if I just go down and highlight, I'm just going to highlight here, notice that I have uh, this quick analysis icon that pops up. So if I go ahead and click on it, you'll see that you get all these different uh, all these different things that you can quickly apply to your table. So from formatting, you can see if I go across how I can quickly add some formatting. If I wanted to do some, uh, some totals here, if I go to this part, you can see how I can uh, click on totals. And if I wanted to go through different ones, how the totals just automatically pop up there. So very, very quick to do. Uh, the thing I like too is the charts. So if I go over to charts and click on it here, you can see how I can just see these charts in a hurry. And if I wanted to add them, I can click them and boom, they're right in my uh, on my spreadsheet right away. So this is a great thing to speed up a lot of time. A lot of people don't realize that little quick analysis is there. Just go ahead when you have your table, click on it and see all the options that you have. A great feature is the filter feature. So let's say if you have a table with a lot of information in it and you just want to find something in a hurry to, to just take out other parts, try it. So in this case, I'm gonna just click inside this short table that I have here to give you an example. I'm gonna click on avatar. So I'm inside the table. I'm gonna go up to data here, click on data. And now this is the filter, uh, what I want. So if I'm gonna click on it, Notice across the top here, little arrows, drop downs. I have some choice. So what I like about this is, let's say by year, if I was going to look for something in a specific year, and you could imagine if this is a really long list, uh, if I click on this, I'm going to go down here to the bottom, and I could do some searching here, but I'm just going to use the check uh, marks here. So I'm going to go select all and say, I just want to find something in 2011. Click on it, hit OK and it just shows me uh, the movie that was in 2011 from the list that I have from the table. So I can go back, select them all, hit OK, and they're all back again. So maybe I'm looking by uh, studio, I could go back and click on click them and I wanna see everything from Paramount, hit OK, and there I go. So I love this feature of just sorting through uh, tables, especially if they're long. Uh, take a look at some of the other options under the filter you can do because you can see how you can sort by uh, largest to smallest and go ahead and try different ones or number filters if you had some greater than between. Uh, you can see averages and different things like that. So this can save you a lot of time just by uh, clicking on inside the table, going to data and hitting that feature. Here's a really quick tip for you, and it's just about how to move around on your worksheet. So if I'm inside this table here, I could use my arrows to go around, but if you hold down the control key and move, hit your arrows, it'll just jump quickly to the end parts of it. You can see right now I'm holding down control, and as I use my arrows, it goes to all the different parts the, quickly to the corners of it to the ends. So it's just a quick way to manage your worksheet to get to a, a particular cell. Here's another important tip for you to know. Now, when you have certain column widths that aren't uh, wide enough, you could drag them. You could grab and drag and go through each one and drag till it fits, but you can just simply double click on that spot. So if I go in between the column where the line is and double click, it automatically adjust. So another thing is, I'm just going to hit back a couple times to get back this. If I select everything by going up to the top left hand corner and just clicking, and now I pick any one in between, double click, 
and it adjusts all the rows to fit nicely on it. So that's a quick tip. I do use that a lot, especially if I'm copying and pasting over uh, from different uh, from different spots. And this way I can just uh, simply correct all the widths in a hurry. Flash fill and autofill are both great time saving features inside Microsoft Excel. So if I was typing a list and I already had these email lists uh, here, now if I went over to here and I just start typing the first name and as soon as I go down to the next one and start typing, notice it starts to fill in my choices and fill in the rest of the column there because it recognized the pattern, how it did first name, last name. And all I have to do is hit enter at this point and it fills in the column based on the pattern that it was showing from the first cell. So uh, that's called flash fill. Now with autofill, if we went to a different one, if I just put in the number like one, I could just simply click on this and drag it down like so, and it just copies everything down. The other thing you can do if I put in the number one here, if you uh, just double click right on it and it automatically fills the column based uh, to the same size to the left of it there. But this can also recognize patterns. So what I mean by this, if I put one in the first one and two in the next one, and I highlight both like this, and then drag them down, it will continue on with the pattern that it recognized because I highlighted the first two cells on this one. This does work with other things like, like dates. So if I was typing in uh, with months here, if I typed in January and then just simply double click and it would fill in uh, matching uh, to the next column on this one. I could even put dates on this one. So if I was putting, uh, let's put the year and right away it's gonna recognize that's a date and as it goes down it's just going to progress like that so these are some great time saving features just to quickly fill in cells when you're inputting that data here's a very important tip for you if you're new to excel and that's understanding the difference between a relative reference cell to a absolute so now in this case i'm going to create a formula here uh, just giving it an amount uh, to the quantity and cost here, and I'm going to copy it down. So I'm going to just put in equals this, and I'm going to say multiply by the quantity, and I'm going to get the amount. So this cell right here is a relative uh, reference point here, because if I copy this down, you can see as I click through each one and look at the formula, how it changed. So now it's D5 times C5, and this was D4 to C4. So it's changing as I copied it down. It's giving the correct formula. Now, if I wanted to apply, in this case, a discount to this, so I'm gonna have uh, this an equal as my formula, and I'm gonna have the amount, and I'm gonna say multiplied here by this 12% discount, and I'm gonna hit enter. So this is correct, it would be uh, 251 on this one, but the issue arises if I copy this down like this, you can see I get all these mistakes here. Now what's happening here? So if I click on this one and look at it, E4 times C1, well that's correct. But if I click on the next spot, it says E5 times C2. Well C2 is right here, I need it to stay on that uh, cell. So I need to say as an absolute on that one. So this is how you do that. So if I go back up to this one, I need to make sure I put a dollar sign uh, in front of the letter, but not only the letter, I need to put it in front of the number two to make that an absolute spot. So I need it to stay in C1 all the time. So now if I copy this down like this, I get all the correct ones. Cause now if I click on it, you can see it's still C1, C1, C1. Now the other one is changing to this, but I needed to make sure I had an absolute cell reference for that second part there. So that's a very important tip. So to help you out when you're creating your formulas uh, to make sure you understand the difference between the relative reference and the absolute point. Let's say you wanted to make your rows, the columns and columns your rows. So we're gonna transpose, and I'm gonna use this example of the movies here. We're gonna reverse our columns to our rows. So how you do this here is I'm just gonna go ahead and select my table like this, and I'm gonna copy, right click, copy, and I'm just gonna move over and right click this time go to paste special. So I'm going to click paste special and there you go right there. You check transpose and this will do the reversal and I paste it and you can see we have some formatting that doesn't fit, but like I showed you before to quickly 
highlight everything, double click, and now you can see it took the name of the movies that was in this column and went across uh, as rows across. So that's how you reverse it or transpose it very quickly uh, if you just wanted to change the look of your table that you have. Let's say you have a list typed out in, let's say, Word, or maybe someone emailed something to you in a list, and you want to put it into an Excel spreadsheet. So here's an example. When I take uh, this right here, so I'm just going to right click and copy this and go over and paste it into my worksheet over here. So when we paste it, it doesn't separate it into different uh, columns. And in a spreadsheet, that's kind of what I want so I can apply different, uh, different formulas and different, to different reference points inside the worksheet. So one thing we can do, and I have it highlighted right now, is go up to data and then go ahead and pick uh, text to column. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this here. And now with this, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna leave it at delimited here. So characters such as commas and tabs separated each field. So when I got this one, that's how I had it separated is by commas. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. And what do I have it separated by with, col with comma? So if you don't have it selected already, you can select it. And you can see, as soon as I pick comma, it separates it into the different uh, ones. So if it was separated by tab or semicolon, I would choose those. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit next and I'm gonna hit finish on this one. I'm just gonna go ahead and make the adjustment here. So now you have each of these in their own column and you can start applying maybe different formulas uh, to this and this will save you a lot of time rather than having to go to each one and put it into a separate uh, column on your worksheet. Let's say you wanted to put some images into your worksheet. Really simple way to do this is through screenshots. So I'm just gonna go up to insert and I'm just gonna use the worksheet that I have open right now. And you can see screenshot is right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. And then I'm gonna just click on the Word document that I have open here that I showed you previously. And it just took a snapshot of that. So the thing I can do to this though, I can still edit this. I can go to it and crop if I wanted a certain uh, part of it crop so I can take the handles and move them in. And as soon as I click off, it makes the crop. Now, what I like to do uh, is sometimes when I use the screenshot is to select a certain area. So I'm gonna go back to insert to screenshot and this time I'm gonna to go to screen clipping. So maybe, and now I have the uh, website open, I just wanna take this image, a screen right of this, I'm gonna select this area and let go and now this is inside my document. So it's a very quick way to get some images right inside to your worksheet. So maybe you wanna see where all the formulas are on your worksheet. So just at a glance, uh, you just wanna know with each cell where the formula is. So a quick way to do this is to just click on the worksheet you're on and then hold down control and press tilde. So tilde is right beside my number one key to the left. So when you hit control, hold that down and press tilde and you can see right away, now I see all the formulas on a worksheet. The nice thing about this is I can just toggle it back and forth when I press it again it goes back. At any time, if you knew where the uh, where the formula wa formula was, I could just simply double click on it, and you can see where it's going to be to that individual cell. But I really like that control uh, control tilde feature to see all the cells uh, where the formulas are at once. So I hope you like these ten tips today. They're aimed more at the beginner. I'm going to have more tips that come out uh, to help everybody at different levels inside Excel. Remember, I do have a lot of other tech videos on ver a lot of different topics so hit that subscribe button if you thought this was useful today please share this with a few other people hit that like button thanks for watching this time and i'll see you next time here at teachers tech